Cyril Gunn has made the heavyweight division very, very interesting. Now, I think it was slightly getting slept on a little bit, the heavyweight division, but not anymore. There is a lot of conversation around it, and rightly so. Obviously, as we know, Cyril Gunn beat Derek Lewis on Saturday for the interim title. Whether you agreed with that interim title is another thing, but it doesn't really matter because we all arguably know what it means. You are now the number one contender, and I know you get a nice little belt to go with that, but arguably we know Francis is the champ, and now we've got our number one contender, which is Cyril Gunn. And I've made a video about him as being the sole member of his fan club, but I won't go into him too much. But what he has done for the division is opened it wide open. Opened it wide open? Opened it wide up. Opened it wide. He's opened it wide open. That sounds right. We'll go with that. Because obviously we've got John Jones who's waiting in the wings, who's a bit of an enigma himself. Obviously he's the, well, he vacated the title, but he's the 205 champ. Don't re He doesn't really need too much introduction. We know how good he's been over the last decade or however long it's been at 205. And he wanted to move up and get the big fight with Francis. But obviously, that got put on the back burner. He was asking for, I think, 10 million it was. Um, and he wasn't getting it, so he didn't want to take the fight. Francis has then sort of said he wasn't sort of taking a fight. And then they made one behind his back. So he says... And it's all got a little bit weird. So we've got John Jones, who's currently doesn't want to fight unless it's for the title, and sort of fair enough. And he wants that against um, Francis. But now, obviously, we've got Cyril Gunn, who's walked in and taken the interim title, which means he naturally now has to fight Francis. And that's not a conversation to be had. That's just the fact. So we know we've got that fight at least, which is incredible. And obviously, if they make it in Paris, if they can take that to France, then that will be a whole another narrative for that we know both of them coming from mma factory obviously francis lived there Gans lived there his whole life it's only been sanctioned one and a half years i think uh the ufc or mixed martial arts in france so that would just be crazy that would be crazy but then the th the difficulty from here is n then we've got stipe miocic who's feeling hard done by and He's got a fair argument to feel hard done by after beating Ngannou, obviously, and then losing to Ngannou, and then not getting that rematch straight after, and being the most successful heavyweight of all time. The one thing I will say for that is, he had his loss, and naturally we don't hear much from Stipe. We didn't hear anything from him. He didn't really sort of crop up about any rematch or rubber match, sorry. And then all of a sudden all this conversation was happening and then it was Stipe it was like oh where's my shot as, and as much as he does have a case to deserve that for sure it, I sort of feel like he missed the boat a little bit he could have come out after their fight and sort of said okay I definitely want the next one I know it didn't go very well but if you look at um, Conor McGregor and Dustin Poirier the same, the same sort of thing right so I think he missed the boat a little bit there. But it's very, very interesting now because we don't know which way this is going to swing. So I think, obviously, we get the Garn in Garnu fight. I personally think that Garn takes that. But then we've got the John Jones dynamic to then the Stipe. Does John Jones then just walk in to the winner of um, Ngannou gone or will that not then be figured out and then naturally probably Stipe then has to get a title shot but the thing is as well that's at that top of that division I mean shout out to the, the, the Brit Tom Aspinall's flying up through their ranks and I know that he said that he doesn't want I'm not saying he's going to get a title shot next fight or anything like that and I know that he said he doesn't want to fight for that title too soon and he wants a good few years but the problem is every person they put in front of him he's just beating so if you keep doing that at the heavyweight division you're going to find your way at the top very very soon so if he starts getting entered into that mix as well and then we're sort of looking at John Jones fighting these people Tom Aspinall fighting these people we've got Cyril Garn in there we've got Ngannou in there um We've got freak athletes all over the place in that heavyweight division. And it's sort of showing the new sort of crop and new era, that heavyweight um, division, which is exciting. And I'm looking forward to see where it goes. We don't know who's going to be holding this strap in a year. 
But we do know one thing. We're going to find out. So as always, you know, the drill, get involved if you enjoy the content and just help us to grow our channel. So drop a like, drop a subscribe, get on to us at Instagram and TikTok where you'll see daily MMA videos to keep you up to date. So as always, peace. Catch you next time.